Hello, 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 and welcome to the 50th. Oh my goodness, 50th woo, <laughs> episode of Rambling Weekly. It took a long time, but eh, getting close to doubling it since stopping and getting back into it. So, yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good, doing pretty good for ourselves. Anyways, the topic for this episode is going to be talking about ballooning talking points. I even uh, did a little bit of homework so uh, I can sound less like an idiot. Not too much less, but uh, <laughs> so uh, should be totally, totally good. And I will not put my foot in my mouth, promise, swear, uh, at least not on camera because it's pretty gross. Anyways, uh, take a break and well, get ready. Well, not into the topic, but we'll we'll just kind of catch up. So, stick around. Welcome back. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. I really, really dig that tune. That is from SSH's Forgotten Ruins slash uh, Click and Metal. It's one of the albums that's on iTunes and stuff. So if you have iTunes, you can purchase it from there. Highly recommend it. It's a fantastic 10-track album. I think SSH has a few others on there as well. So really good stuff. Probably have mentioned it before or used some of the music or snippets of the music in, in the uh, in the podcast, but if not, well, and I think I did it for the other. Anyways, it's it's good. I really like just how it builds up that, that what, about 30, 40 seconds or so, and it's kind of just building up, and it's got this really cool sound to it. I enjoy it. It's uh, a little bit different than the tinny sounds of old SSH, but... I enjoy those as well. <laughs> Anyways, how's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. I've been kind of like off and on, hot and cold, busy, keeping uh, keeping to task on the things that you have to do. Most importantly, finally, I look over here because my TV, like the tiny TV that I have is over right here. I have gotten my Switch, or at least, you know, not just a Switch, but other things as well. Um but mainly the switch to uh, connect and do footage recordings and stuff. So I'm slowly getting back into that woohoo for things that are just not on the PC. So I've actually been playing through Fire and Ice. Going to do a little review on that. And uh, it, there's times where it makes my brain feel kind of mushy, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. It's a puzzle game. It's supposed to do that. Even if you've played it and beaten it before. If you don't play it for a long time, you're like, ah, I don't. It's it's nice. gives the gives the old noodle a workout. Uh, so I've been doing that. I've been doing a little bit of writing, getting pretty close to finishing up uh, the the rough draft. Just a little bit. I'm right there. Uh, what else? What else has been going on? Anything else? Hmm. Um, the uh, you know I've had the New Year's and everything, so hopefully everybody's been having a a good start to the New Year. And it's been, I guess it's been kind of up and down. Uh, there's been I've been having these like weird. I don't know if I'm just hitting old, old <laughs> middle age puberty or what, but uh, <laughs> I've been having these mood swings where I'm like, ah, I'm really really grumpy. Mm. And then it'll be fine, like the next day or so, and then or like it'll be a couple days, and then I'll be fine, and then I'll be like, oh, everything's great, and then I'll be like, ah, I'm grumpy. Uh, I don't know. Ah, splash, being attacked, but uh, I think part of it's just 
getting letting the little the little things frustrate me. That's kind of something I've noticed is I'll, I'll be fine and then it'll be compounded by just a bunch of stupid things and then I'll be like, okay, I'm not fine. I'm getting kind of uh, angry and frustrated. It's just like, uh, and then when I get angry and frustrated, it compounds into more and I'm just like, I, I'm just not winning. Today is just going to gonna put it on the shelf. We're done. Nah, no, 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 no. Uh, let's see, that, that, I don't know, have I really, I haven't really been doing too much, like, I've been, like, like, I have been doing stuff, like, I've been working and, and all that sort of fun jazz, but I, I kind of feel like I'm not been doing too, too much, it's one of those kind of feelings, it's like, I, I've been keeping up with putting out reviews-ish impressions, whatever, um, you know, doing the podcast with uh, Mr. Sushi B and all that sort of stuff. I can't really, can't really think of too too much else that I can put to task to be like, yes, I've, yeah, you know, I've been keeping with writing. It's that's I guess part of the problem, right? It's like you start doing a bunch of different things, and then you start losing track of time to some degree. I know I get that way, especially with writing, as I'll get into those flow states. I'll be like, do 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 And then, you know, three hours pass in a blink of an eye, and it's like, oh, okay. Um, let's see that, that. Did a little bit of cleaning. Uh, <laughs> really been a pretty mild start to the year i didn't even stay up for new year's i fell asleep around like 10 10 30 that's partly what i do anyways but then i was also like i'm kind of sleepy uh i did work that day so it was one of those things um i'm getting like i've been making some like lists checklists of things to do which has kept me better on task on some of the odds and ends because you know keeping up with the the channel doing the pod and like so doing the channel thing so that's podcast and trying to do these impressions and stuff and then also you know rambling weekly so podcast with sushi be uh impression videos as well as uh, rambling weekly so that's three different things but also juggling in like picking the game to play picking the topic I actually was kind of debating on what to do for this I was like because I have all these topics I'm like hmm, 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 hmm. and sometimes uh, you get that uh, uh what's that the the, the, the decision paralysis sort of thing kind of like that but instead it's just like i don't know if i want to really talk about this right now i don't know if i because i i want to do it a little bit more justice i probably should even though the whole theme of the uh, the thing is rambling weekly so it's kind of kind of like i don't do my homework but in the same hands i should probably do my homework so i can at least ramble a little bit better <sighs> You would think you would, you'd think I'd have this nailed down after years and years and years of doing it. No, 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 just, just whatever. No, 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 don't know what I'm doing. I just have fun with it, right? That's just <laughs> all you can really do, just have fun with it. Um, that, that. I think part of it's a big chunk of it's because I've been playing through Fire and Ice. And getting the recording footage for that and getting the whole thing set up it wasn't like it took forever it did take a little bit because it wasn't i couldn't get any sort of uh footage i'm like oh great cool black screen this is lovely great this is the best and then it finally started working i was like yes thank goodness ah so uh that that i know because i'm gonna you know, get back into doing what I should have done last year, the red wall stuff. Um, that's also going to eat up my time. So I've got to like, <laughs> I've got to set timers for myself. I'd be like, okay, I'm going to sit in one hour doing this timer reading or, you know, playing a game or something. that's a lot easier writing. I kind of can't do that. I, or at least I don't like doing that. Cause it's like, Oh, I'm afraid that it's going to disrupt me. So it's like, I can't do that. Cause if it, if it, do that, if it sidetracks me, Oh no. So, 
yeah, that's uh, that's really all. That's kind of what I got going on. Sure, why not? We'll we'll stick with that, and then uh, we'll get we'll go take a break and get into this topic that I know I am really just going to dig dig a hole for myself on. Because why not? Sure, whatever. That's all right. It's no big deal. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Even though everything's... Uh, it'll be fine. Anyways, catch you after break. I'm going to like downsize this window so it brightens up my screen. See if that helps things. I don't know what I'm doing. I've only been on YouTube sort of making videos for ages. What do I know? Uh, uh, oh no, what do I know? Anyways, that song there is... Uh, I really like the instrumentation of it. It's got a what some people would probably like that's a really corny silly name i don't care it's ninja versus vampire it's cool i mean it really just sets it out right there it's just like yeah all right and the instrument instrumentation instrumentation if i can learn how to talk uh, i think really sells the point good stuff fantastic really enjoy it so ah uh, yeah ballooning talking points the topic i have Every now and again, I have mentioned how I'm not the biggest fan of these really, really lengthy uh, essayist dissertations, if you will, of of anywhere from like an hour, not necessarily an hour, but like really starts to balloon out when it's like, oh, hey, here's five hours on a movie, or here's seven hours on a video game, or here's eight hours on a video game or here's 20 hours on a video game and i so i have a few of these that i listed and of course the one that i i did not write the time for i think it was about uh, six hours maybe i don't know look i can look that up let's see do i even have it up still i still have it up heck yeah i knew what i was doing and it was six hours man two for two way to go me Anyways, I, I wrote some of these down. So, for example, there is Ben Saint's eight-hour video about Mega Man connecting all the different sorts of lore and stuff. There is Patrician TV's Morrowind, Oblivion, and Skyrim videos, which are like eight hours, 12 hours, 20 hours. Um, there's Action Buttons, the Boku no Natsuyasumi, which is six hours. That's the one I had to look up because I wasn't certain. Uh, and th- just as a few examples, there are these really, really lengthy, uh, like I said, dissertations about a video game. And I don't like them. <laughs> Not necessarily like the, because I've, I've watched a few of them, uh, particularly like the Patrician TVs ones. I've had them on in the background. I know I had the Morrowind one like on kind of like a background thing when I'm, my leg was uh when I was dying and <laughs> I thought I was gonna lose my leg uh so I was like yeah yeah it, it kind of works for that but it's one of those things where it's more background noise or sound than really anything to um in the sense of retention there's just too much being thrown at you at that and it's I can't think of any eight hour classes or something that I've been in to where I'm like, yes, even for things that I've studied where I'm like, ah, maybe I'm just stupid. 
not too far far of a path to walk <laughs> but it's I, I i guess it's because it, it a lot of it it has to boil down to the the content of it in the sense of um media or or really kind of parsing it out a, a movie game what have you it's something i just see as a bit of a throwaway as entertainment which in a way is a bit hypocritical of me because i also would really prefer things to have i guess some inklings of interesting morals to dissect and whatnot and not to say that they don't in any of these kind of videos because they probably do 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 that to a certain extent i know with like partition tv stuff that um some of those different videos that's he's also bringing up certain points on like just like gameplay mechanics or what have you i guess my issue comes in and i've seen this with different some of them just kind of run with it and i've seen it with different videos where they almost have to defend that they're doing that it's like no you do what you want to do some like some people out of the gate partially myself included to some degree i see something like the uh an eight hour mega man lore video i'm not really i i'm not even gonna piecemeal that like i just i it's mega man he he shoots he shoots the little pellet things and he goes and takes care of Dr. Dr. Wiley. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I guess I have a hard time really wrapping my head that some people are just that fanatical about, or maybe just that they, they love those things too much. I guess part of my problem ends up being also that, what, MatPat, I think, eons ago made one video about like how all games can connect to one another and stuff and it's just at a certain point it's like uh, and i think my um, how to put it my i don't want to say dislike but just sort of my abrasion abrasion uh, not quite the word i want to use but my because i don't want to say disdain because it's not like all oh, these people what are they doing <laughs> i do want to to a certain extent and i'll get into that but more importantly just as them making that sort of stuff it's like eh, okay um just what i i really am not too keen on with it is that now that i've lost the point trying to be funny which is um wow yeah i did lose the point <laughs> oh no ah uh, oh boy oh boy what am i doing uh, uh, what what am i doing <laughs> but, oh i i have no idea i should stop it to figure this out i'll stop it i'll be right back I sort of remembered it <laughs> but also because i watched the video but anyways uh so i think part of it is just how i am as a person as well it's just i when it comes to stories and that sort of thing i like having those gaps those gaps are there really as a way for the at least for myself and internalizing it for myself it's for a way for either me or an audience member to or a reader player what have you to play around in it themselves it becomes their own little personal sandbox and when things get really bogged down or over explained it's you know, like such a great bit of minutia like i said like there's the there's this point in which i i caught in like Partitions TV's Skyrim video, where it's it is twenty plus hours of two different videos, um, and there's a segment that I caught out of all of that that was talking about how, and it was because he was getting really really worked up about how didn't like the the magic system because of how 
watered down and just it not very good. I mean, it's not very good. The end. That's all I got from. It. I mean, there's a little bit more details I sort of vaguely remember, <laughs> but I mean, more to the point is that uh, um, that you just there's just so much of it that it, it it's like I would. And maybe there are people that do this too. It's like, you know, maybe I'll, I'll catch a segment of it or something. And that's enough to be like, ah, okay, whatever. Like, I've played a little bit of Skyrim. Not much. I don't really like it. Not really enjoyable. I really like Marwind. Marwind's a lot of fun. And Oblivion, I think I've played about 20 minutes. <laughs> for whatever reason, I kind of skipped over it. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm not really caring for it. Anyways... Uh, something I wanted to bring up about this, and I kind of wanted to make it its own topic at one point, f the way back in the day when it had first come out, is I'm gonna set the stage here. So Final Fantasy XV, way back in the day, not a lot of people like that game, or maybe there are a lot of people who like certain little parts of that game, but boy, do I really not care for getting getting the Coleman filled up with some brewskis and going camping with the buds. I no. You know, kill behemoths, marbles, to whatever. Some wolves. Get them. <laughs> and they uh there was a little oddity with the game. Not, not not like a glitch or anything, but just something different about it compared to these other games, where Prompto would take pictures of stuff and during battle, and there'd be certain points of which there would be little cutscenes, sort of of you know, Prompto taking selfies and all this sort of fun fun jazz, and people really gravitated towards that. They're like, this game is a hot mess. It is a muddled cluster cluster magoo of a whole bunch of bleh but you know what prompto uh you can be annoying but i really like your pictures and there was a thing where you could do like a photo album and i remember this being made a really big deal and it puzzled me because i it felt like something that we've spiraled into that's been worsening for a while now and I felt like it pointed toward a loneliness and some sort of way to try to connect. And this is where, you know, things like Breath of the Wild, people can connect, but they don't connect in the same way. Like, there's a difference between, you know, style A or, or event A where, say, with like a, like Chrono Trigger. Yeah, sure, there's a lot of bunch of different endings and, and you can beat it at different points, but you're going through the same beats. Uh, the the future is, is pretty awful. <laughs> you know, it is not a fun time. It is not, oh, by golly gee, I really enjoy going to the future. Hmm, not really. Hmm. And, but the, the, like, the story beats are all there. It's that linear fashion of, of oh, you know, when you go down to try to get you know check up i think it's just like checking up on somebody who went down into the the basements to go for food for the 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 first few people that you meet in the future and then you're bombarded by the guardian robot sort of thing eh, that or you know the seeing the footage of day of lavos that's that's always a very strong like oh oh wonderful but they're beats that's generally most people experience in a similar environment similar pattern whereas something with like breath of the wild you're yeah you might have you have the situation say you need to i don't know you gotta you gotta fight off some hobgoblins i don't I don't know. I haven't played the game really, but you, you gotta fight, fight some, some, some monsters. You gotta fight some monsters in a forest, and you know some or uh, like early on, I think there's something about you, you having to get through an area that's cold, um, 
and there's multiple different ways to tackle that so yeah you share the experience but you're sharing an experience where you're kind of telling each other instead of I don't know commiserating on the same horrible experience that's why I think half the time like half the people who really really love Final Fantasy 4 are like wow I really love that game and it's like oh yes I really I too love getting my teeth kicked in on every single boss and every time I go to a new area it is up to Cecil not Cecil thank you DS4 remake Cecil uh, <laughs> Cecil no Anyways, <laughs> he it is everybody else dead, and then Cecil's just Cecil. I I'm saying it too. No, Cecil. Uh, but uh, it's just Cecil up to, to he's got to save the day until you finally get like some wiggle room, and then everybody sort of kind of survives, maybe. But it doesn't matter because then Cecil's just like, yeah, whatever. I got this. Just heal me when I need it. <laughs> Poke. <laughs> But uh, there's just a difference, right? Like everybody can be like, oh, wow, the magnetic cave where you have to like de-equip uh, all the cool stuff you've earned so far. I I love that. Yay. So exciting. Please let me do more of that. No. <laughs> I'm good. Don't need that. And it doesn't necessarily even have to be a hard thing, but it's more of just going through the same sort of patterns of it. I, you know, think of just like movies and stuff. It's not like what, I didn't, the movie Clue have different endings, I think, or something. Yeah, it's really the only one that's done that. And it was awful. People didn't like it. I, I don't know. I could be wrong. I could have swore that that was the case. Or maybe that was something they were going to try to do. Um, I could have. Am I like in a wrong timeline? I feel like I've... I've I am remembering things that didn't happen that I could have swore happened and this is just how old age is <sighs> it, it, what I'm getting at is there's there's even if you and part of it's also nowadays just the plethora the the cornucopia of games available that is much harder to do that commiseration <laughs> commiserating <laughs> with uh, one another on like the same sort of game maybe uh, you know with a popular game it's a little bit easier say god of war uh this latest one probably a good example of that elden ring to some degree probably a similar sort of experience um what i'm getting at with all that is that I think the, to some degree, a, a reason why these things have gotten uh, more and more, I don't want to say like just popular, but just as just, uh, we'll go with popular. We'll just say popular. I don't have a better word for it. But I, I think a part of that stems back to this sort of binge watching kind of thing and the this loneliness that we tend to be kind of stuck in not everybody of course but i think there is a a to borrow a a, a phrase from jimmy carter president former president jimmy carter about there being a malaise over the country I think that the, there is a similar malaise that has baked itself into the internet and that has infected mm, not everybody, but a sizable portion of people who use the internet to to some degree of just this loneliness, this disconnect. Uh, I know Sushi and I kind of talked about it a little bit, but this, you know, instead of experiencing the moment, people would... Not everybody, but there's a lot of wanting to try to capture the moment. And it's like you're in a very Buddhist kind of way to put it. It's like you you cannot be in the moment because you have now focused on trying to capture the moment. So there's a, this degree of separation. And I think that plays into a bit of loneliness that plagues, uh, particularly like online. I feel like 
you know, there's the this odd layering. We have the you know the the internet silly place that's supposed to be the silly place, and then we have real life and everything. And the real life, just because of how it's going, maybe it's not going the greatest, and we just kind of shove it off to the side and have the the internet fun place. Woo-hoo. But because there's that that degree of separation or you know like with you know watching a video about a game instead of playing the game you're kind of getting that odd sort of like you're 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 trying to capture the moment without actually being able to capture it at least that's at least how it kind of works in my head and also uh part of that boils back into the um there's been studies mind you i let's see if i have a few of them up of course i don't because why would i do that there we go (laughs) i just had to back on it um there has been a concern that uh that binge watching has some link to possibly like depression and that sort of thing. And I think where there's the, the yearning for people to have this insatiable appetite for learning something, even if it's something silly, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, you learn lots of silly things. There's this, I'm wearing a silly hat. Like that's, is it practical in any way? Other than me wanting to say I'm the Sultan of Slime, no, no, there's not. And I really should have probably changed my channel to that and just gone with that and just made myself a character. But uh, those times are long since gone. I can no longer be the Sultan of Slime. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> Where the heck am I? Where, uh, uh, anyways. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I, it is concerning to me because of the these lengthier videos that it because binge watching can have the effect of increasing dopamine in the brain and, and there's always this this thing about going for the dopamine got it got to get that hit of dopamine and all this sort of stuff just because there's this malaise or there's this very negative vibe everything's so dour and just down and out and everything and i think that is also part of the reason why there there's this rise in these sorts of things uh people en- enjoy that they like to be a part of it uh i know people got super giddy about the whole 20 hour thing for patrician tv and i know in some of those comments for ben say it's uh eight hour video on like Mega Man lore and stuff like that there were people commenting on it about how they were kind of a part of it and it was and I think that's 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 it right there is that there is this loneliness and to be a part of something and not only be a part of something that you like say like video games or like Mega Man um there it creates this bond in this weird like parasocial way and um it it's it's concerning and not necessarily like not necessarily in the sense of them making those sorts of things that's less i mean it's important that they're you know, like they they're doing that maybe they maybe they could just chop it up into little episodic things but in the same hand they have to deal with an algorithm and and they're trying to do their best and stuff so i like i understand i get it i get it i i get it um i guess it's more of a concern when it when you see the see it for like the, what the audience is um is it is it because of this loneliness that creeps out and seems to spread its tendrils further and further along and in, into, into people's lives is it because there's a lot of depression um you know, that's I that's the those are the concerns I bring up. Not like I know I can get into a bit of a funk when I'm 
I got like something like Mystery Science Theater going. Even if I laugh and stuff, it's like uh, it's not a point. I've just got to be like, no, stop, put it away, and then get on, get on your other things. Uh, you gotta, there's just so many things to do, <laughs> right? Um, other than just working. Working is w w one of those things as well, but there's just so many other things to do as well that it, I, I, in one hand, it, you know, there's that one-upmanship of, oh, you've got a five-hour video about a movie, wah, 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 wah. you know, I've got uh, uh, an X. Um, you know, numbered or amount of time on on uh, this for a TV show kind of thing. So that you know, there's a little bit of that friendly banter and stuff that's there. But then, yeah, uh, more than anything, I I just wonder about the audience and this sort of separation, um, this remove yet still a part of you know the parasocial sort of thing. Uh, that's, uh, there's not really a good way to handle it other than just saying, oh yeah, just turn off the, the thing and go talk to your neighbors. People don't like their neighbors. I like my neighbors. They're, they're pretty good. I haven't had issues really with any of them. So that's, I'm, I guess I'm one of the lucky few. <laughs> or it just, um, yeah, that are, are, are like work. I know it can be kind of hard if, if, you know, your work is a little bit more solitary or something. Um, but I, yeah, it is, it is odd to see how, how to put it. Cause I don't want to say it's like, it's juvenile or anything like that. But it's a lot of what feels like people who I could certainly fall in, not certainly I definitely I definitely fall into this category to some degree um, with different things and that's like not really having any sort of guidance so we're all just kind of fumbling around and we we know the game eh, yeah we're all just kind of fumbling around but instead of there's the point at which you like acknowledge that and then you go okay well i'm gonna like stop fumb fumbling so much in the dark i'm gonna, gonna i'm gonna try to find a lantern i'm gonna try to kick on the light switch we're we're, we're gonna uh, let's solve this problem it's a little bit more like ah we're just gonna fumble around in the dark and that's that is it the end it's kind of similar with um any sort of epiphany or uh philosophical leanings or understandings that you may have or something like you, you get that moment and then you're like oh okay and a lot of times that's where he's just kind of stop it's just like oh yeah i really like that and it's like no i really like that i'll keep it in my pocket for a moment the pocket that i don't have right here i want to pretend i have a pocket we're gonna keep it right there uh and then revisit it at some point and re-examine it because it could just be something it's like oh it sounds really good in the moment but then after some thinking you're like this is completely stupid what is my problem why am i so dumb or something um like uh there's a, a line in deadwood that i really really like um uh, that's ambition and the blessed simplicities of actions rarely quarter in comfort and i really like that line but in the same hand there's one way i can think of it and then I'm, i like i want to put on the brakes and be like wait no is that really how i want to think about it and then i go and I'm like ah, you know that you could kind of kind of rubik's cube it and turn it into something a little different turn it on your head look at it at a different angle and that sort of thing um yeah that's i don't know that's that's what i guess my th thing is i really yeah i kind of I'll, I'll poke and stuff at that where it's like oh great really goodness gracious <laughs> me person personally other than having it as background sound it's not really something that jives with me and it's like yeah whatever but um I guess more than anything, it makes me wonder if it isn't 
feeding a monster that we really don't have a good way of curtailing. Um, it's like when you're hungry and you eat something sugary and sugary things actually just make you hungrier sort of that sort of thing or like a um like what is it grease fire is grease fire where you try to or like greek fire and you, know, you try to throw water on it and it's just like oh it makes it worse great and grease fire i think grease fire does the same thing but not to the same extent could be wrong but um that's what it feels like it feels like it is in a way trying to satiate something but all it's doing is just it's really not getting to the core of possibly what's and it, in other words it really i don't think that's really trying to outside of the, the the core of like it's going for something else entirely right it's trying to satiate the the uh what people want to know about something whether it's skyrim or mega man or boku no Natsuyasumi. uh sure okay what have you anyways i've dug this hole deep enough so i'm going to take a break and uh we'll get into a quote so stick around i don't know why i'm waving but please stick around don't go i'd appreciate it There is Plan B, a little, a little bit of funky goodness there. Uh, some of those kind of has a little bit of a bounce to it. Uh, is there like swing music? But, but there's just a nice bounce to it. Really enjoy it. Good deal of stuff. Anyways, quote for today. Going to dig back into Thucydides there. I don't know why I did the shovel motion. It's not even really on camera. You know, I still do that. <laughs> I would still do the, that even if I was just doing the audio recording. I would still do uh, I, uh, I am a goober. Uh, anyways, <laughs> we're going to go with some Thucydides there. And that quote is, Indeed, it is generally the case that men are readier to call rogues clever than simpletons honest and are ashamed of being the second as they are proud of being the first. Uh, yeah, seems to still be the case. We'd rather call somebody, some, somebody who needs a good old finger wagon clever than to think of just somebody who's just being simple as, oh, they're doing a good job. You're, you're, you're an honest, you're honest folk. <laughs> uh, and boy, boy shucks howdy. Ah, oh, we certainly aren't simpletons. We, we are the smart ones around here. <laughs> Uh, and not only that, but also we're, we're the clever ones. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Uh, anyways, that's, that's really all I got. Thanks for listening. I hope you have a wonderful day, weekday, weekend, and all sort of fun jazz in between. Uh, the outro song is Bottom Line. Um, kind of shifts back towards the some of the other music as opposed to the, the funkier bit but i, th I thought it I thought it would be a good one to to end with so that's all i got thanks for listening give give tell me how off i am how wrong i am and all that sort of stuff i'm actually yeah i'm really curious to know like what people i know sushi b and i have talked about it and i think i think b clark we we've kind of talked a little bit about it if memory serves correctly um i you know i know well I don't know if Slade really listens to these. What am I doing? <laughs> Why am I so weird? <laughs> but um, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah. 
let let please let me know. Not like just oh they're stupid because I mean I, I hope I would hope you wouldn't say that because that would just mean. But um, yeah, I'm curious to know people's thoughts on just the when it comes to those sorts of things. Do you click on on them? Do you watch them and stuff? I know I kind of outside of doing the like podcast and stuff when it comes to the impressions and all that i i really skew towards the hey this is a little bite-sized thing and then you can go about your day because <laughs> i don't know I, that's just kind of how my brain works on those sort of things anyways that's it i'm gonna go do something i don't know drink some more tea uh probably finish up fire and ice all that sort of stuff i uh, will see you later take it easy bye <laughs>